What's up legions welcome to another video in today's video I'm going to be showcasing the best and fastest way to get emulation onto your Lenovo Legion Go So if that's something you guys were interested in make sure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel Let's get right into it. So the first thing you're going to need to do is just open up a browser So after you open up your browser you want to go to emudeck like you see right here Next you want to go to download right here and you want to download it for Windows again This is a Windows device so in order to do this, you do have to pay for it, but it's pretty affordable. And trust me when I say it's worth it if you're really into emulation. So to use this, this is still in the early access, so you are going to have to pay for it. But there is a beta version that should be coming out pretty soon. So if you guys don't want to pay for it, you might as well just wait for that. But again, I think this is totally worth it here. So just come here to become a patron and then you want to pick the early access here. So just hit join. All right. So by hitting this, you have an option to join monthly or annually. So again, it's pretty affordable, I think, for what you get. All right. So after you pay for it, it gives you an option to download it. And after you download it, you see it right here. So this is what it looks like. So you just open it up here and it's going to run through the whole installation process like you see right here. So just to let you guys know, it's going to ask you for a token. Once you pay for it, you should receive the token, put the token in. And when all of that is said and done, then you get to this screen. So doing the installation process, it gives you an option to go easy or custom. I've already done this, so it's hard to show you that part. But with custom, it gives you more customization to where you get to pick which emulators you want. As you can see here, it's a bunch of them that you can choose from. So what Emudeck does is that it installs all this emulation without you having to install them individually. So as you can see here, I have Yuzu, Regenix, RPS3 here, PCSX2 here, all of this stuff. Team use here for Nintendo Wii U emulation. I have the PSP emulation, the Dolphin emulation. So all the emulations are here. All right, so when that is all said and done, you should have an emulation folder in your C drive. So as you can see right here, you have this emulation folder. And here's where you put in your games and also your BIOS if needed. For instance, if you want to run the PS3 emulator here. So for instance, if you want to run Yuzu or Simu, you have to come here. And again, here's where you'd have to put stuff like the BIOS. And here again, the firmware keys, just make sure that you put that stuff here right and then the ROMs is pretty simple you open it here's where you just dump the games that you want so as you can see here you scroll all the way down you see the platform that you want so we're gonna look for switch as you can see here we're gonna open it up and then you just dump your games in here so emulation ROM switch and you'll see here I have Sonic I have Mario it is that simple that's pretty much all you have to do Put the keys where the BIOS is and put the games in the ROMs folder and you're pretty much good to go. So once you have your keys in the BIOS and your games in the ROMs folder, next thing you want to do is just open up Emudeck. Then you want to go to Steam ROM Manager. So there's two different ways you can do this. You can have the game port to Steam. I use Steam a lot so I just like to have my games port to Steam. So I'm just going to launch Steam ROM Manager here. All right, so again, you can use Emulation Station here. So what you want to do here is you want to find the emulator that you want the games to show up at. So, so here's the user emulator here. I'm going to go to Add Games. And again, because I have those games already added to the folder, I do parse and they show up right here. So as you can see, this Sonic and this is Mario. So next thing you want to do is just save it to Steam. And then by doing so, it then shows up in your Steam library. So I'll show you guys what that looks like here. So if I was to open up Steam, game will show up here in my library. So you can see it here, Super Mario Wanda. And I can just play it from here. Again, Nintendo Switch, Yuzu. Here's the Sonic as well. So again, all I have to do is just hit play. And it's that simple. I'm good to go right into this. All right, so here we have Super Mario Bros. Wanda running under Lenovo Legion Go. Using this method, as you can see, it's pretty simple to do and it just works flawless. But yeah, I'll show you guys our PCS3 here. And this is another one that's able to use Emudeck to get. Again, with this, you have to get the firmware and you come here to file and you install the firmware. Again, just Google search PS3 firmware and you should be able to download that. And then again, next thing with this one, 
All you have to do is go to your C drive or wherever you saved Emmy deck as, and then you just have to put the game where it belongs, right? So open up C, go to emulation here, and then search for ROMs, and then find PS3 emulation, and then throw your ROM in there as well. And by doing so, those games will show up onto your Steam library to play. Or if you just want to manually add the game up, you can just add it through here, boot it through here. So this is God of War, we're just gonna hit start and you're gonna see it just do its thing. So this is how I'm able to play my PS3 emulation on the Legion Go. So it's that simple. All right, fellas, so that is the easiest way to get all of the emulation. This pretty much has every single emulation that you want. Again, the price point is only $3.50 a month. And again, you can pay for annual fee. And once you pay for that, once you actually download it from there, you're good to go. You don't have to pay them monthly. You can just pay for it once, download it, but then you wouldn't get the latest update, but you should be good to go. But yeah, this is pretty cheap. And I feel like one of the best ways to emulate on your Legion Go. Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you guys find this video helpful? Appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Until next time, peace out.